I've been waiting on this wig all weekend and I finally got my package. Um, they were trying to hold me back, but um, we here, girl, and I am in love. Like, I am living for this color. Now, I've tried this color before and in the style named Charisse by Altre. It was one of the first batch of Swiss lace units that Altre released. Back, I want to say in October or September, around around those months in 2016, Altre released their Swiss Lace Collection. And we was introduced to this DRCRD, which simply stands for Dark Root Copper Red. And girl, yes, like this hair color, this color combination is everything. See, y'all know I was trying to stay away from the burgundies and I was trying to, you know, stay away from the reds, but the copper gives it that orange tone, that orange undertone, so it's not fully burgundy red, but I'm just all the way here for it. Like, y'all here for it away. Like, I'm here for it, yes. Um, so, um... Get ready for the extraness. I haven't did a wig review in two weeks, so I know y'all missed this extraness. Hey, you guys. So, I am back with another wig review, and of course, it's going to be on this unit that I am wearing. Can we slay? All right. Um, yes. Yeah, so, this is a newer unit out by Altre, and I'm about to show you the stock card. If this little string thing want to act right, like, I legit hate these strings. But, um, yes, this is Dominique, and it's from Altre Swiss Lace Collection. It's a L-shaped parting, and I have her in the color DRCRD. Here's the model on the stock card. This is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Boy, why would you want to put heat to all this curliness? Like, don't do it. Don't set yourself up, girl. But, um, for the ones, you know, it's your prerogative for the ones who just, don't want to listen you can use heat up to 400 degrees on this unit this is a swiss lace definitely edge friendly it would not be ripping out your edges so i am here for that soft lace is a1 always a1 in my book because a wig will not hold my edges back at all whatsoever standard cap construction so you do have two combs in the front and then a comb in the back adjustable strap um, big head friendly, I believe that you can get away with this unit, but I'm not going to call it big head friendly. I didn't adjust my straps and she's fitting comfortably on my head. So take it how you want to take it. It's not, it's, I want to say it's average size. It's an average size cap. So I think that you can get away with it if you do have a larger head or if you don't braid your hair down when you wear your wigs. So as far as the texture goes, this is a light yakky unit. In terms of luster, this unit is really natural. Like it has a natural sheen to it, but it's not shiny at all. Now the part does sit on the right hand side and it's not a deep right side part. In terms of length, this is a pretty long curly unit. I wanna say about 18 to 20 inches long on me. I am 5'7". You do have your dark roots at the crown, which is a number two. Is this a number two? Yeah, it looks like a number two. It's not really jet black. In terms of density, this is all the hair to the front. It is a pretty full unit, but it's lightweight, so it feels like it's nothing on my head. Just your standard shedding and tangling when it comes to synthetic units. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in this wig. Um, it was fairly inexpensive. I think I paid under $30 or just above $30 for this unit. If I had to rate this wig, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for me. I am absolutely here for this hair color. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You like it. You love it. You here for it. 
let me know in the comment section below and i'll talk to you guys later in my next video bye you guys